the vast majority of studies on daily nut consumption and weight have shown no significant weight gain in the short or long term. But doesn't that violate some pesky law of the physical universe? Conservation of energy isn't just a good idea, it's the law, the first law of thermodynamics. Energy can neither be created nor destroyed. It is a law that cannot be broken even by the most hardened nut cases. Calories can't just disappear. One solution offered to the mystery of the missing calories had been, has been dubbed the pistachio principle. Maybe nuts are just such a pain to eat. For example, in-shell pistachios slow the rate of consumption because of increased preparation time, and this may permit greater metabolic feedback during the ingestive event that augments satiety with the potential to reduce the energy content of the eating event. Meaning, in-shell nuts slow you down so much it gives you time to think, hey, I'm eating, better not eat too much. Yeah, but what about shelled nuts? Well, you still got to chew them. A study out of Japan suggested that increasing dietary hardness, meaning difficulty of chewing, was associated with lower waist circumference. Now, your jaws do burn some calories, but it's not much exercise. I mean, I guess if all you ate was you know, raw cabbage all day, you might lose some weight, uh, but you know, there ain't many calories to begin with. So it may just be the tedium of chewing that leads one to eat less. Then there's the fecal excretion theory. You know, many of the cell walls of chewed almonds, for example, remain intact in the digestive tract. So even though a nut may technically have a certain number of calories in it, maybe they just go out the other end and you don't absorb many of them. To test both these theories, all scientists would have to do is compare weight gain from nuts to weight gain from nut butters. Stay tuned.